All right, so hey, Life Group Leaders. Um, I'm here with Dan Smitley again, which I always like it when we have him in the video and we're at Dunkin' Donuts, which is always a good time. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about planting life groups. Um, so Dan, you were in my life group, mm -hmm. and and um, what was that, like two years ago? Yeah. And uh, yep. Dan, you, I plant, like our, we, our group planted your life group out, or yeah. planted the life group that planted somewhere in there, but that was really painful. Yeah, you bring this up almost every training. Yeah, about how you planted me, and every time, I cry a little. Yeah, it makes it me hurts. sad. I know our wives were sad. Like our life group was sad. Yes. Um, it's still really sad sometimes. It so, is. what I was gonna ask is like, you know, all the things we did to make that happen. Like, right. So how can we avoid that? You needed to not invest in me so much. Okay, so if I didn't want to plant right. out a group, right. Right, like, and I want to stop the gospel from spreading through life groups and exactly. stop discipleship and just you know, stick it in one life group so that I could keep the same friends forever, yep. one of the things I would do is not invest in invest. an apprentice. Right. All right. Because see, what happened was when we, when we started considering the needs outside of our own group, and when we started considering the neighborhood and the city and how we needed to spread the gospel, when we started considering the gospel message... That was our biggest mistake. It was a huge problem. I mean, like, as soon as we started thinking about other people exactly. instead of ourselves, right. that whole other-centered love thing is really what drove planting our group. Right. Because um, as soon as yeah. you started thinking about that, you started thinking about how we needed yeah. to plant. You started looking into investing in people and investing, you know, trying to mentor me, yeah. which, I, looking back at it, big problem. All right. Like, you should not have done that. And we'll what, remember could have, that. what could have happened then is I could have just stayed in that group the whole time. <laughs> that would have been so much fun, because then we would still be able to do things like sit around and drink coffee. Exactly. Because we can't do that at we places like time. Dunkin' Donuts. We don't have time for that anymore. <laughs> Alright, so um, this has been lesson one in how not to plant a life group out. And I hope you understand and can kind of read between um, all that we're saying here. <laughs> Dan is saying if you don't want to plant a life group, don't invest in no, an apprentice. Really. Um, so hopefully you all understand that what we're saying is please do invest in an apprentice because we care about the gospel. Um, so anyway, um, Dan's like, no, no, I miss you. Um, other than that, we had one other thing we wanted to talk about. Um, in, our, in the background is uh, Dan and I's cars. Um, not the fancy Mercury, but the, the lesser cars, those are ours. Um, and uh, and why, you know, what's interesting is we're seeing the tailgates of our cars. Um, now, I was uh, I wanted to mention that, um, you know, the, uh, the Crushers game is coming up. Well, you know what the date is on that? July 6th? 6th, 7th? 6th? Um, Dan's going to check on that. Here's something I want to let you know. Dan, 7th. I'll bet, uh, July 7th, I'll bet that you could put together a pretty doggone good um, tailgate party. Yes. Right? And we're, we're going to have tailgate parties there at 4 o'clock that day. Um, I happen to know something really good. Now, I'm not allowed to be a part of this tailgate competition, but what we're going to do is allow life groups to battle each other for best tailgate. Um, what we're going to do is we want you to come out. We want your life group to, to you know get tickets to the game. Come out because the tickets are cheaper than, like, any game. Um, get tickets to the game and then come for the 4 o'clock thing. We're going to have cornhole games. We're going to have all kinds of other stuff. It's going to be super fun. And then we want your life group to decorate a tailgate, do, like, this ultimate tailgate party. We're going to come around. We're going to judge. Whichever is the best tailgate will automatically get VIP access to the game. So the whole VIP suite, they actually have a VIP suite there. You'll get it with it stocked. Like, you get to watch the game from the best location with all the food and stuff there. As um, a life group? As, a, as your life group. Um, and uh, I think Christy and I, hopefully if everything works out, we'll be able to do that there. Um, if you not, know, you'll just be right in there you on You know how own. you could have? If we were still in the same life group. <laughs> if we were still in the That's same true. life group, we could have done it together. Now, thanks for bringing that up, Dan. <laughs> um, now, the, uh, the other interesting thing is I'm actually be doing going to be doing some of the announcing at the game. So I'm really excited to like cheer every time they get like a, a field goal in baseball. <laughs> so um, interesting. This is really going to be a fun day. So if you're not, if you haven't gotten a ticket, get it. And in all seriousness, we're going to do this tailgate competition. So get your life fun. group together, plan something, challenge other life groups. Um, I would love to see like you know on the Facebook, the Open Door Facebook board, like taunting of other life groups would encourage me greatly. But other than that, I hope you're enjoying your summer and you're doing great ministry. I know you are. And uh, Dan, thanks for being here and um, right. telling us how not to plan out life. There'll be more. All right. Yeah, I got more we, are, we actually have more stuff on that. I'm looking forward to it. All right. You all have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.